Hello, so today overview of uh, three keywords in Golang which can interact uh, between each other which are uh, panic, uh, defer and recover. Okay, so the first one is panic. So you just type panic and it can accept anything. So we're just gonna put a string here, boom. And if we launch that program, you see that it's exiting with a non-zero status, a status two and you have the message here. So basically, it's just in the indicating failures of your, your code. But a brutal failure, it's the equivalent of an exception. So you would want to use panic when you want to crash your application brutally, really, as opposed to terminate your application gracefully. The second keyword is defer. So defer, um, you, you're sending a function so so we're just gonna put a log line inside this anonymous function I'm gonna say that we are in the defer function and then we have to invoke the function um, I'm gonna put a log line at the beginning and at the end of the execution of the main function to show you what will happen all right so if you run that you can see that you have the two beginning and end log line and the defer happened uh, in the end after the end log line so basically the defer function will be executed at the end of the routine and in our case the routine is the main function basically so you use defer when you want to be sure that an, an action will be executed uh, once the current routine will be completed so for instance closing a file or closing a connection so third keyword is recover so for that we need uh, both previous keyword we need to panic and to defer so so this code will panic as shown right now so you see that it has the it has deferred but it has also panicked and recover so basically the way you're using recover is that way so you can assign r to recover you invoke recover so recover is a function and if something happen uh, r from recover will be non-null so then we can catch it like that so like that then if we launch that one you can see that it didn't panic this time it did defer and then it did execute the the body of your recover um, statement basically so what you can test here you can um, we can put a log line at the end so just want to show you that um, this log line won't be executed even though you are recovering there you go. So our last log line doesn't happen. Basically, you do recover, but your the the flow of your code is interrupted. So this pattern is the equivalent of a throw catch pattern that you could see in other languages like um, JavaScript or Java, basically. So, so thanks for watching and happy coding.